All right. We need to talk about two things before we start this video. And I'm laughing because I have to, well, one of them's not funny, the other one's sort of funny. First one, in my last video, I got a call from Janice, who's like, they're not following you on Instagram. And I was like, okay, great. Now, a lot of you guys followed me on Instagram, which was great. Thank you guys so much for that. Like, seriously, it means a lot. However, I posted a picture last night, which turned out to be a little bit more controversial than I intended. But at the same time, you guys can go over to my Instagram, at Denoxy, to see it. All I was doing there was expressing my personal feelings and opinions towards guns. I don't like guns, and yet I'm still getting comments from people saying, trying to change my opinion, or at least say that I'm wrong. Guys, we're all allowed our own opinion. Now mine is I just don't like guns. I don't think they're cool, I don't think they're badass. I just don't think that they bring goodness to this world. Now that's my opinion. I'm not saying you have to believe it, but it's my opinion. So with that being said, to those people that are writing long ass comments, relax, okay? It's, it's an opinion. Now if, if you can't handle an opinion, I'm, I'm a smack that duck. <laughs> Topic number two. Is this too blown out? I feel like I look super white on this right now. Well, honestly, God, I'm about to look super white. Check this out. Lately, like the insides of my knees right here and here, they hurt because the shoes that I'm wearing are like making my ankles go in. So the shoes I have now have like zero support. Kind of like me in real life. <laughs> I got Charlie though. You're my supportive little bean. Are you my support corn My support corn <laughs> Char. Yeah, you're my support corn Oh my God, it's amazing. Anyways, so I went to the store. I woke up super early. I, I had a really terrible dream. I'm not gonna get into it. Um, wow, well, <laughs> I just, sorry, I just sort of went into it there. My new shoes, so I bought these bad boys. I love New Balance. This is no shade to New Balance at all. These particular shoes, are the weirdest thing happens when I put them on. Jackson? Jackson, just clean your room. We're gonna be late for soccer practice. Sorry, son, I can't play catch. Gotta do my taxes. No, no, we need a new lawnmower. Did anybody see my cargo pants? I gotta get this. I basically turned into a white dad. Sorry, that was a stupid joke. What's up, everybody? Today's video is super fun. It is a DIY. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make custom mugs with Sharpies. So the permanent marker Sharpies. So I'm gonna take you guys through it right now. Let's do it. First things first, you guys are gonna need a plain white mug. That may not actually be true. It's just I tested this on a plain white mug. You could probably use the colored one. Because I don't have a steady hand, I wanted to make a mug that actually looked good. So I busted out my Cricut. I decided that I wanna make a Swiss Ronda mug. And I cut out the word Swiss Ronda on some vinyl. So here's some shots of that. Um, this machine is actually pretty awesome because it's there's like a little knife. You guys probably can't see it in these shots, but there's a little knife that basically cuts out exactly what you want. It's sort of like a printer, but it cuts instead. Once I was done, I took an X-Acto knife and just kind of cut off the little square. And then I needed transfer tape. Now, if you guys have ever seen transfer tape before, basically it's just a big piece of clear tape that I'm gonna stick on top of my stencil. And then I'm gonna get all the air bubbles out. And then when I peel it back, it's gonna bring the stencil up in one go. Once I did that, I had to line it up on my mug, place it down in a spot that I liked. Once that was on, I peeled off the transfer tape, and then boom, my stencil was on the mug. Simple as that. Everything you just saw was pretty much optional. You don't need the Cricut thing, you don't need all of that. I started to color in the stencil with a black Sharpie marker. I actually did two layers of this, and then I thought maybe I could try colored. I've never done this before. And I busted out a red permanent marker for Rhonda. So I had Swiss in black permanent marker, and then I had Rhonda in red permanent marker. Once the stencil was all filled in, I had to pull off the transfer tape. All right, so now that you got all of your artwork on the mug, make sure that the ink is fully dry. This might take two hours, so I put mine in front of a fan. You're gonna go over to your oven and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're not gonna wait till your oven is actually 350 degrees, you wanna put your mug in right from the start, from when it's cold to when it hits 350 degrees. It's important you do this because if we just pop a cold mug into an extremely hot oven, it's probably gonna crack. Once you hit 350 degrees, like when your oven goes off, you're gonna leave it in there for 30 minutes. Then, once the 30 minutes is up, you're gonna shut the oven off and leave it in there till the oven is cool again. This will take obviously longer than 30 minutes because it takes time to heat the oven and to cool the oven. Essentially what we're doing here is we're baking in the permanent marker ink into the mug. Now once it was cold enough, I took it out and I'm gonna actually show you guys it right now. Let me go get it. So this is the outcome. I made a Swiss Ronda mug right there. This ink is now fully baked in to the mug. You can see that it doesn't matter what I do, it's like completely flat. This was already there before, so that wasn't me, but like, 
you can see it's fully in there. So that's pretty much the outcome of it. That's the black ink on the top, and then that is the red. This is about four layers here. Really, really, really cool craft. Super easy to do. You guys can easily do it at home. If you guys are gonna try this, please tag me in your creations on Twitter. I would absolutely love to see them. Be careful with the oven, of course. And yeah, I mean, that was just a super quick DIY. I got some really good videos coming out. So guys, subscribe to my channel if you guys are enjoying the content. Make sure you turn the bell on as well, because that'll send you an email the second the second I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to use the hashtag FFCreatorDanocracy and you guys can vote for me to win an MMVA with the link in the description down below. You can vote once an hour. You guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.